Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Home Copy Brewing with April. Now I'm standing inside here because the initial introduction clip that we did for this video, unfortunately the audio didn't work. So I'm in Seoul, I'm recording a new clip here, but this clip is for a video that we did very recently in Bucharest where I meet up with Alexandro. Now for some of you, you're gonna know who Alexandro is the second you see him because he's a world roasting champion and also professional competitor brewer in the Brewers' Cup. Now, we think it's actually really interesting to see how some of these professionals are brewing coffee at home, and we're hoping that you think it's just as interesting, right? Because after all, whether you're a professional or amateur or high or low, you're gonna most likely brew coffee at home. So, welcome in here. We're gonna meet up with Alexandro in his apartment. Um, there's also a little bit of background noise here because of all the animals they have and also uh, because of other family members. But that's just part of shooting these in different homes around the world. So thank you for watching as always and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed recording it. Yo, what's up? Nice. So we're, we're on the inside, which is pretty good, no? Yeah, yeah. It's um, super nice. Definitely. And it's time to brew some coffee. Definitely, it's a bit late, you know, but it's coffee, late, actually. coffee. And we've just been at a coffee festival the whole day. Yeah. So we're like over caffeinated. A bit. That's why we look so tired. A bit, you know. It's okay. But still, like coffee is like coffee, and we always need a bit, like you know, we for the evening. Need, that's true, though. Yeah. yeah. We do have a dinner to go to, so we have to get some fuel, get some energy. Yeah, then we're not gonna food. have like we're gonna have good food, but not the coffee. No. Unfortunately. Which is so often the case, and that's a debate yeah. in its own. Why is coffee so bad in restaurants? Super nice. Yeah, so this is very nice. Obviously, yes. let's let's just talk about the fact that we're standing here with a world champion, which we don't always do in these videos. But the fact is, professionals also brew coffee at home. Always. No. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah, I, I uh, brew coffee every morning at least two or three. That's my morning routine, you know. Not so much in the evening then, maybe. No, now, yeah, to be honest. When I'm with friends, yeah, we brew coffee, yeah. always. Yeah, okay, super like, cool. I was with a friend of mine in Dubai and we were doing some classes over there. Yeah. We were brewing till 3 a.m. Yeah, Dubai style. Yeah, I had to, you know, we were like in the room in the hotel and just like, you know, chilling around. Oh, let's try this, let's try. Oh, it's a new dripper, let's try this. And we ended up like three, four sometimes. And it's like, yeah. okay, That's interesting. Cool, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, again, for you guys as well, I think it's, it's fun to also see yeah, how the pros do it at home, right? And I mean, you've been in the World Brewers' Cup. Yes, yeah. three times. And you happen to three win times. the World Wrestling Championship. Yes, because uh, yeah. actually it was not so random because I started with Brewers' Cup yeah, in yeah. 2000, 2014. Oh, really? And I, then I, I, I knew like, you know, I want to roast my coffee so I can like, you know, improve the recipes and do this and do the change the profiles. Makes sense. And then I started competing in the roasting championship. Yeah. yeah. I lost the next. Yeah. I mean, not the fr from the first time. No, no. First time was in Sweden, I remember. Man, it was nice in Sweden. Yeah, Sweden. yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was nice Gothenburg. memory. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Nice. Yeah. I think everybody was there. Yeah, everyone was there. That was, that was like very early. That was before I competed, actually. But yeah. it's super cool. Yeah. So basically, this means we're going to have well brewed coffee. We're going to have well roasted coffee. So there's a lot to learn from this video here. Right? Should we? Um, I hope so. Let's talk about this first, and we can grind some coffee at the same time. But I yes. actually never seen this. I've heard about <laughs> it, but I never seen it. So I'm yeah. quite excited. This is a, this is a very good grinder. Yeah, like it's made from uh, it's made in Brazil. Yeah, but it you know I waited like maybe four months. Oh, okay. For him, for Gilberto to build this grinder for me. I mean, not only for me, obviously, oh, no. but like, you know, his production. So like produce it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so like, not, I think. Not the fastest grinder, but. I mean, it is fast it. wise, <laughs> but that's like, you know, grinding fast. Yeah. But so like, yeah, it took a while. The brand is. It's uh, basically Bravo. Bravo. Yeah. It's called Bravo IT, I think. But they, they keep producing like tempers, distributors. And I think other like home espresso stuff as well. Awesome. Like very good. Everything that he does, like it's very good. Like I said, okay, I have the temper, I have the distributor. Why not? Then let's you know try the grinder as well. Fair enough. I think we we all love a new hand grinder for sure. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, you if you want, you can grind it. 
No, no, you do. Like, okay. The whole point here is okay. like, you're going to brew me coffee. I'm not brewing them coffee. Right? So okay. No, no, just to brine, not to brew. I love, we actually about, he brewed me a coffee this morning. <laughs> so it actually wasn't that long time ago. But before that, it was a long time ago you brewed Yes. Coffee. But to be honest, it's, been, it's a been a while since you brewed the coffee as well. No, that's true, man. Yeah, yeah but you're going to brew tomorrow as well. I'm brew, uh, tomorrow I'm going to brew, actually. Yeah. And then I give you some coffee as well. So, okay, so we're doing the Bravo grind. And what's, what's the, you know, is there anything other techy like um, a birth, a conical burr? Yeah, it's definitely a conical burr. Yeah. It's very well built. It's very heavy. Yeah. I mean, it's very complicated to like, you know, clean it let's say if you want to like oh, okay. it's not one of those you take away too easy yeah no but you have to like unscrew this and then this and then everything is like it has a full manual and a video on you on his youtube channel yeah, sure. like how to do it because it's way too complicated yeah but i never did it to be honest i just like clean it with the dust pump you know okay sure. and then with like a brush just the birds you know that's it easy that's and i've cool. been using it for a while like i've been uh, in what do you feel is like the main difference or like First you know, of all, so you, come and, you used to come down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, what's yeah. The, what's of like course. the main difference? I mean, every grinder has its own, like, it's very good, you know? But I don't know, for this one, I think it gives you a bit more of the clarity and sweetness. Okay. Sounds, I believe so. Pretty good, right? I believe so. Let's so maybe it, let's, let's see if it's just it me or not. <laughs> exactly, you know? We'll see, then. So, so we're grinding, so how much coffee to water? How are we going to brew this? Uh, do you know the scale? Of course you know it. I know the scale. Like, yeah. So actually, since, so now I know the fellow scale. Yes. The last video we did, I did not know the fellow scale. Now I do. Exactly. So you have like three modes. Yeah. I usually use the brew assist back home because it's super, super convenient. So you just, you know, okay, let's make one, seven, one to 17, one to 16. But I think one to 16 should be a good ratio That's to start with. Okay. Yeah. Is that your go-to kind of always or? No, not, not necessarily. Like in competitions, I think I go like 115 sometimes, okay, a bit more. or I mean, depending on like, more. you know, yeah. depending on the coffee, but this coffee is already like, you know, a bit fermented. Yeah. It's, uh, it's from Nestor Lasso. It's the Chiroso Natural. Lot 127. Uh, that's just the number of the, cause I roasted on the ah, roast the machine. Ah, cool. uh, this is basically the batch. Yeah. yeah. Sure, so I didn't do too many batches on the roast. The machine, you know, the Norwegian machine. Ah, okay, so this is like a smaller, small batch thing. Yes, this is like, uh, I roasted 180 grams. Yeah. And I have precisely 160 grams, if you are curious. Yeah, fine. <laughs> I was just like, okay, let's let's measure it. That's but it's very nice, like I roasted like uh, two days ago, so it's quite fresh. Yep. Do you usually brew like fresh coffee? That's your thing? Or you like Sometimes. I do like, uh, let's say for uh, usually for competitions, yeah. I leave, I think that the three days to five days is my, like the best okay. possible flavors that I can get, like, you know, Yeah. though I never tried like you did, like keeping it like, you know, for one hour or like 30 minutes, Yeah. but I will try this more. Yeah, fair enough. I think it's, you know, every roaster has their style of brewing that kind of syncs with the style of roasting, right? So exactly. I think it all, all makes a lot of sense. Exactly. So, so you said a one to 16 ratio. Yeah. How much coffee are we putting in the, or um, in the grinder? I'm gonna do like, I don't know, I think 15 grams. Go for it. Yeah, 15 grams. Do I you usually, really usually do, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, with the April Brewer, I use like between 12 and 15. Because I wanna be like, okay, we can put one more. 15.1.2. 15.2, yeah. Okay. Point one. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. So, because I wanna be in like, you know, finish maximum like two minutes and a half. To have the more the best of the clarity <laughs> with my technique yeah so that's why i'm using a bit less coffee i never try to be honest like brewing i i don't like to brew like too much like no, let's so say 20 I'm, grams or like this or i don't find it like you I'm, know i'm gonna swear behind i mean obviously i respect that people at home want to do like you know coffee for the family or no that's right? the yeah you no know, it's the thing is smaller brew less <coughs> coffee in the filter Easier to saturate, yes. taste your coffee. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you get That's like kind sweeter. Of the, whole, the whole idea, right? It yeah. tastes a bit better because all of that coffee is a little bit more uniform, right? Exactly. So I, you know, always rather brew more brews, have like food setups. Exactly. Uh, or like I do wait the same. A little bit, right? You know, have one cup, go back, brew another one. Yeah, it's yeah. It's kind of yeah. fun to brew, right? Exactly. So you don't have to brew big ones. Yeah, if I, and first and then if I don't like one, I can change something for the next one and make it better. You know. Fair enough. So hey. Go for it. We have we have some we, we should we have like yeah, yeah. If you wonder what the so, background noise is, yes, this is Charlie, guys. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's good to know, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I'm running around. And we do love animals here. It's, yes. Uh, this yeah. Do they drink coffee? No. And I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not going to give them coffee, but... Uh, not, we don't recommend to give your dog coffee. No. No chocolate. Just so you know. They just happen to be... <laughs> yeah, yeah. To them out. Yeah, yeah. We're going to give them some snacks and something, but, you know, dog food. No coffee beans? No. 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 Nah, just for us. Maybe. Fair enough. Okay. So this one is quite lightly roasted. Yeah. Just in case, like, Which people... Nice. Yeah, I roasted in, like, eight minutes, this one. They roast light. I'm going to say that yeah. they roast good. Then I think, because I think there's often this conversation about light, medium, dark. In the end of the day, there's... It's above 100, like this it. one. Like, yeah. color-wise, it's above 100. It's above 100. Okay, yeah. so that's, yeah, yeah. that's light. Yeah. Um, for those of you that don't know, Actron scale, the higher the number, the lighter the coffee. Yes. And I would say that anything above 100, where you find most of April coffee, or like all of April coffee in the yeah, world, probably. Um, would be considered very light. I would say that most... Yeah, but Other we like it. We do it a little bit lower we'll, color. We like it, right? We like it. It's, if it's a good coffee, it will benefit from being lighter roasted. Yes. If it's a bad coffee, probably not. No, because you're going to get like, you know, all the unwanted flavor. No, exactly. So, very easy to grind. Because it's so big, we're like heavy. I guess. It yeah, and stability easy. and like the gripping of the beans is insane. You want to try? No, you go for it. Okay. Well, it's like, okay, yes. yeah. It's I super. Know we, do this, <laughs> we make an exception, right? Yeah. Sorry. But it's very. You, you feel the grippiness of this, like how yeah, fast it breaks basically. the bean. And it feels. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break. No. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not gonna break. It if, smells really good, also. If you break this one, it's like congratulations. <laughs> like it's gonna be like, this is like heavy duty. And you have this, and I forgot. I don't know where I put because it has a base with a magnet, so you can keep it on the table. But I left it somewhere Possibly in the you box. Can grind on the table as well. Or just well, no, no, just to just to keep it like this, just yeah, for cool. you know show. You keep it like your, yeah. in your shelves or somewhere, yeah, or whatever you want. Like this, I'm thinking of like competing with this, like you know, this is very nice. It's super intense. Like this coffee is, is very nice. Intense, actually. But the thing is, because we we tried this earlier today as well, right? At yes. Yeah, yeah. But the, the, uh, I'm still Stefano's roast. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, but he did on the Stronghold. Yeah, it's a different roast. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, You're a big fan of Stronghold as well, huh? I am. I'm like a really big fan. It's nice. It's a nice it's, machine. It's like a very good roast machine. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just a, the flexibility of energy application. Yeah. And the fact that you can kind of turn it on, turn it off yes. so efficiently, that really yeah, yeah. suits my style of roasting, right? Yeah. That's very nice. Orange or black? Orange or black, and whatever color you like. Okay, I, I have the orange. orange right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna wet the. Usually, how I do it is I wet the filters with cold water. Like That's interesting because I've seen that before in these videos. <coughs> okay, so Why, I'm. Do you feel there's any difference between cold, hot? Not necessarily in taste, like, like in uh, taste of the coffee. No. But like consistency wise, yeah. I prefer to use it cold because okay. this is your paper filter, so yeah. it's not gonna taste papery. Good point though. Yeah. <laughs> sure. And then it's like, you know, consistency because it's always like cold or like warm, not room temperature, let's say, not cold, no, cold. Like, like, fair you know? enough, because when you heat it up, also competition wise, right? You, yes. you never really know how long you're going to wait for those jet years. No, you never know exactly. That's you the point. On something, but if you do it then in like one like lower temperature, it's just going to always be a low temperature. And it happened to me once. I really like, I poured like, I think half a liter. Yeah of hot water, yeah. it changed completely the dynamic of the flow. I was like, okay. I mean, it was good yeah. that it happened, but sure. it, it was, you know, surprising because I was not expecting it. Yeah. So I was like, okay, so. very different flow rate yeah. because I use so much hot water yeah. to wash away the paper filter. Yeah, sure. So, you so know. something to experiment with at home, like rinse your paper filters with yeah, yeah. Different temperature water. I also like it because um, it you settled. control the shape way better. Exactly. I like shape on any paper. The thing is, the April paper filters, uh, some paper filters have stabilizers in them. So it's like a chemical that makes the shape uh, yeah, yeah. stay better. But okay. that's actually not healthy for you. Yeah, exactly. So we don't have any stabilizers in our paper filters, which means that sometimes when you rinse them, they're not going to sit. Perfect. Perfectly. They don't even have to, like, they don't always have to be to be able to taste good. But when you do it like this, I can see it on your distribution there. It's like perfect. See? 
Yeah, yeah, I'll steal that from you. <laughs> oh, please. That's good. Like I, I, learned, always, I learned something new here as well. I do this in the shop as well, like all the time. I, tell I my, also can't believe I never did that myself. See, now we learn it something. It's better. all the time we learn something. That's so true. this we leave for later. And why why do we have plastic? Because I know he actually has a few of them. So yeah, like why, a few, like all plastic? of your colors. Yeah, like <laughs> you just told yeah, you're going to release pink. <laughs> we'll send you a pink for this video. I think that makes yes. sense. Yeah, you nice like one. Deserve a pink. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, I have you, all the colors. Yeah. Do you prefer plastic in general? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because you know it doesn't steal away from the temperature, so it keeps better the slurry. I mean, the temperature inside the slurry. Slurry. Sure. Yeah. That's cool. And uh, I don't know. They're like very easy to like you know travel with. And I don't. I stay like you know. Yeah. I'm not gonna break it. I mean, I took the gla this glass. You know, with us. Yeah, it broke it. And I took it in the festival, I took it there and there, yeah. and it's like, you know, I didn't, I was like, mm. Yeah, you weren't you know? sure. Sure, yeah. We t I traveled with this one, to, yeah, this one, it stayed in my backpack all day long, you know, I was planning on brewing in the shop or doing this, but I used the black one, so yeah. I had both, you know, just in case. Really cool. Yeah, so, it's, this one is very nice. Very peachy, very like, you know, interesting. I'm super excited to try it. So you, you don't have... Any Lady information on the back? No, no, no. Because and this again, second time. So I yes, that's first. very nice. This is the second video I do. Both cases, it's <laughs> roasteries that don't put any flavors on the backs. Interesting. We had it on the website. Yeah, so okay. usually, the, I mean, because this we didn't release yet, the coffee. So it's still my own personal stash. Let's say. Uh, I didn't put any, any like you know flavor descriptors, anything. Just like you know, name of the farmer, region. That's it. Like country, yeah. a producing country, and that's it. Yeah. You know, just a lot number for me to remember which, you know. I think we would be super curious. Like, and you, like, please comment on this because I'm curious also as like a business owner. Is this something that you guys kind of prefer and like because you can build your own kind of idea or do you prefer when a roaster put like flavors on it? I think we're just curious to know. We had, it, we had one coffee on our website like a few years ago. We didn't have, we just put whatever you like. Yeah. Or something like this. I don't remember exactly, but I remember we received like text nonstop, dude. It's so crazy nice. I'm buying this coffee, and there's like so many people like took yeah. that coffee just because we didn't put anything. We just put like you know, whatever you want, <laughs> like a flavor descriptor. So it was like very interesting. I think that's really cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you but see this, like honest, sometimes it's it, maybe it's you have like and yeah, yeah, and it happened like you know, going in a different country. I was in the Middle East in the country and I took my coffee from home and I brewed there. It had completely different taste. I was like very surprised. Yeah. Like opposite from what I had home. Yeah. And I was like, okay, so whatever it was on the bag, it didn't matter. It didn't matter exactly because you, you know? brew it somewhere else in the world. Yeah. Fair point. So it, it's like, you know, when people, because sometimes people buy and they do like public cuppings and, yeah. you know, and they see, okay, this one will have peach and chocolate and mango. And they will have this expectation. And if they have like, I don't know, pineapple or like dark cherries or whatever, it's, you know, it's, uh, sometimes, I mean, I feel the same. Like, you know, I'm buying, like, you have some expectations. Yeah. So when you don't have nothing, you don't have any expectation. You will Fair leave so. the coffee to speak by itself. I, I kind of like that. Like the more, the more I see it, the more, the more I actually like it. <laughs> yeah. It's actually quite yeah, good. Yeah, it's not too, I mean, it's not it's for like everybody, but. Like filter with cold water. Yeah. Don't put flavor notes on the bags. I'm learning stuff. New yeah. grinder. So new grinder also. Stuff. Did you try the glass before? I did try it. Okay, so that's not new. Well. No, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later for sure. Right? Yeah. Let's that's get some, a... uh, some coffee in the brewer, right? Yes. See, I'm like waiting for you as well. Like, you not that, me. I'm not waiting for you, but I'm waiting like you, like when you like, you know, when you oh, brew it. Okay, so you believe that a little bit of resting time after grinding could be good. Yeah, because also it was I like, won't. I mean, it was roasted two days ago. Yeah, so it's so, very fresh. Yeah. But it's a bit, you know. So, I mean, grinding is, regardless of how long you rest the coffee, grinding it will really be that kind of final release of uh, CO2, right? So, it just make it cleaner. But, like, the uniformity of the particles. Yeah, it's cool. This grinder. It's I'll be very nice. curious to make some measurements on that, actually. I haven't yeah, I didn't do it as well. Yeah. But it would be interesting to do as well. It would kind of be interesting. Yeah. Taste-wise, I really like, like, whatever, like, the coffee I brewed with it. I brought it in, in the first world of coffee in Dubai. Okay. I took this grinder. Yeah. It's like everybody, why do you take it? No, because I wanted this one. Uh, everybody was like, what is this grinder? Yeah. You know, and like people like came and was like, oh, nice grinder. What, what, is, what does it do? 
Uh, the dogs are like, do you want to go outside? No? You want to go outside? No? <coughs> so yeah, let me get the water. Go so we're gonna do 14, 4. Uh, okay, 15 grams. Yeah. So the scale says 14.9, but that's, that's yeah. available. I mean, it's okay, and 238 more or less grams. Yeah. So what I usually do, like I do like the bloom, I really like to saturate it very well. Yeah. Like instead of like 40, 60, 50, mm -hmm. because I don't want to agitate. I don't like agitation. You don't do any agitation. So. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm the same, yeah. So I prefer to use like more water mm -hmm. and then like, you know, have super uniform. Sure. Like it's not going to affect the quality of yeah, the cup. Yeah. Awesome. So you put that on and then you go. Oh, by the way, water temperature is it? 90 but usually to be honest uh sometimes i even use 88 yeah. depending on the coffee okay so that's like especially home than what we've seen before yeah especially at home you say what's yeah. the what's the difference because the water is not like the same like you know in a coffee shop hmm. it's completely different what even though we, yeah we're uh, brewing uh, romanian water which is like quite low on tds this one has like i think 80 ish Something it like this. Something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And um, it's pretty nice. Like, um, I mean, it's very, it gives you like very clean results. So see, we went 80 grams first and now you're going... 236 all the way. All the way up. So it's a two pour method. Yeah, yeah. Method. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's super cool. Very fast. Let, not too much agitation and, and leave just like, the coffee by do its work you know and, and would this be like a home home brewing style thing or not necessarily would this be like a world champion recipe as well ah uh, this one is a bit tricky you know because you have to do three and sometimes i mean you need to divide your time if you want the uniformity and yeah yeah that's yeah, the yeah thing. that's I the only thing keep on stressing this because a lot of you guys watch yeah i have to 36 um, to 36 Nice. He is a pro. I, I don't expect anything else. <laughs> uh, but I think that, I, mean, I said this before on the channel where there is a difference between what um, a professional, like say, world champion competitor would do in a competition versus when they brew a single brew, right? Yeah, because when exactly. yeah it's three, completely we're different. Limited, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's not always the best recipes that that win because people compete. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's great recipes, but people compete with recipes suitable for brewing three cups of coffee yes exactly you can find sometimes a better recipe if you were just brewing one cup 100 percent. i mean i mean if i want to do like adml for the blooming it's like you know because you really need to slow down at the end mm. not to miss like one ml because you lose mm. points mm. in competitions sure. so you need to sacrifice a bit of this in order to win like you know so it's like two minutes two minutes ten seconds something two minutes and ten seconds all so time. it's like all okay. of, how much of that brew time I, i'm assuming this coffee would have a high natural flow rate. Yes, Water like, would go through a little bit faster. Yes. Right? Yeah. We often find this on a Colombian, um, let's say more processed coffees. That does smell, that smell like competition style, I would say. Yeah, it's very nice. I mean, get into a competition and like you, you the do pretty well. Coffee wise, it's very nice. You know, the intensity and the. Wow. If, if I do like, let's say, I don't know, three minutes, let's say with this coffee, I'm. You're kind of like highlighting more of the chocolate yeah. instead of the fruitiness. Uh -huh. sure. I want more fruitiness. This is my style, you know. I don't yeah, want necessarily it's like, like uh, apricots. It's like floral. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. don't get any of the kind of heaviness. There's plenty of sweetness. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Like it smells. Like yeah, yeah. Vibe to it, right? And let's see if with this water, like back in the roastery, it has also some mint, but in flavor. Okay. In flavor. Yeah. And that's a that's a good thing or a bad yeah. thing? Yeah. No, no. It gives like. Super complex. I mean, you're expecting very much like a lot of fruitiness and you're drinking and you have peach and then you have also a like fresher, I guess. Yeah. And yeah. This yeah, also yeah. smells quite fresh. Fresh. Yeah. I mean, should because it's, um, to be honest, we do. I mean, it's the first time I brew this coffee back home. Yeah. So nice. Pretty cool. It's, uh, should you we, know, should we talk? Should we talk about this? <coughs> so, the, yes. We show you like a, a, a little bit closer. But so this server has. Like a, a divot, a cone, a cone or something, yeah, yeah. Something in the bottom that basically like enhances aroma. And also it's like areas. very easy to like spin it and like smell the aroma. Swirl, yeah. so it's like enhancing Swirling. the aroma experience. You, yeah. you believe in that? Is no, that for like sure, for, for sure. sure. I, I really like this, especially when, 
This is why also I don't like to brew like so much coffee because I cannot swirl it. Yeah. And it's like annoying to like, you know, have the aromatics because obviously it smells amazing. I don't want to taste this coffee like uh, you can use this one. I'll use the normal one. So like other other version here. A yeah, glass with basically this is more the fancy same. stuff. So basically it has like a bigger cone or something inside. Yeah. And once you pour it inside, it basically aerates the coffee more. Which makes it, you know, interesting. Do you, do you normally drink coffee out of glass? Yes, I prefer. Yeah. Sometimes I prefer, yeah. yeah. It gives more clarity than in more cups. Yeah. And it's with also this cool to see the liquid. No, yeah, exactly. I mean the color is very nice. I don't know if you guys will see it like perfectly like we do. No, we do we do a close up for you guys, don't worry. Okay, nice. It smells great though. I have to because a mm. lot of also in my world a lot of these because this is a, a more processed coffee right? yes for sure yeah yeah yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and I think especially when you go uh, Colombia a lot of them actually ends up in this kind of more infused character world where it doesn't really smell like coffee it smells yeah. like a fruit yeah yeah and this still I think has the kind of complexity and range of like a coffee no yes yes yes, yes. and you'll see like it's quite intense as well like so in also side note you drink coffee very hot yes we like see we already like yeah he's gonna like finish this cup before i even start yes my exactly coffee. like especially if i like the coffee i'm like Whoosh. is that has that been a challenge for you competing in the world brewers cup no not necessarily no because no. then they really go down to yeah intense. but then i do like the same you know i put more volume yeah. of coffee so then in, obviously the glass is more hot but this one is you can it's not so hot it's quite nice but it's very fresh roasted which you can taste yes i would say it's you taste this 100 percent. it would yeah. be a little bit more cleaner for sure that being said but i can give you the coffee and you can taste it back home as well so you know that's one of the benefits of yeah. doing this <laughs> that would be super cool but it's a good it is though yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah we just need more degassing so you see, we let it like, you know, we spoke about the coffee, we spoke but about then, this like, and this. The gassing one, for example, then, so for, from my perspective, if I was brewing this, let's say I would brew it tomorrow, I would probably then maybe grind it now. For and tomorrow. Like leave it over yeah, okay. to like yeah. morning. I will because try then this. I, then I think a lot of that degassing is actually already done because, you know, it's that or waiting for like two, three more days before you touch the. So this one I roasted and immediately packed it. I usually leave yeah. it like at least one day to breathe ah, okay. before I pack it. To be honest, sometimes for competition, I don't even pack it because I use it in like one, two, three mm. days. So I taste every day and like I don't usually pack the coffee. Only if I, you know, I have to go to the venue. Yeah. Yeah. But rather than that, I like keep it in my, you know, trays and everything. So it's it's a quite nice coffee. I, I like it. I think it's actually a great coffee. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't expect anything else. I mean, anyone to have this as a homebrew coffee, it's, <coughs> it's like not a bad thing. No, no, no. Also, the water is like... Our water here, it's very good for like drinking, but not very good for drink for brewing coffee. For brewing coffee, yeah. So like, so it's, kind of, yeah. it's not good for drinking either. But the thing is, we see. I think the more more of these videos I do, like bottled water seems to be the go-to. No, yeah. I mean I we have. That's usually like a good thing. I don't know if you have this brand of water. It's called Smart Water. Yeah. I think it's from Coca-Cola. Okay. Yeah. But it has like. It's basically a reverse osmosis water. Yeah. And then they add like um, calcium chlorides, magnesium chlorides, and like potassium something. Oh. So it's basically exactly the combination for coffee. Oh. So that's more user friendly, but I didn't find the bottle yeah. okay. in the supermarket. So we use this one. It's definitely worth to check out, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I use this in Boston. I use that water. When you were competing? Yeah. yeah. Ah. So I, I found it as like, oh, nice. And it, I saw all those things. But the, the TDS over there was like very low of the water. Like back home here, we have it like around 180 maybe. Yeah. Something like this. It's nice, right? It also it cools down really well. Like yeah, it, yeah. It's, it almost becomes sweeter. Yeah, I think so. I, I mean, it's because different. my roasting style is a bit, you know, I mean, it's different. Everybody so, has its own. Ro uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're, you're a world champ, so you're like, I, I say, it's a probably a good roast map, right? That, I think that's... Uh... But my, I try to keep my, my coffees like pretty stable from hot to cool down, you know? Yeah. Not to like, you know, become very like acidic or, you know, become like... And, and you I try would it say, to keep it like, uh, you know... Is that more of um, 
Like how would you easiest impact that? Would it be a roasting thing or a brewing thing? A roasting thing. Roasting. Thing. Yeah. In my opinion, because I tried like different things and this is how you apply the gas. Yeah. It's more complicated, but it's... We're going to do a roasting yeah. video at some point. We'll get back we to We have that, to. Right? But I mean, bottom Either line maybe is... in Copenhagen or something. Oh, Why not? Oh, you have to. You should check you know? out the roasting. Yeah, Definitely. Cool. Next yeah. time. So maybe we do a video separately only for roasting. Exactly. Why not? That's a different way. A home roasting with April is not going to happen. And I don't think so. It's quite complicated. Yeah. We do it in the back. I mean, on the, on the stove top. Yeah, I think it's quite complicated for... Uh, Super cool. I mean, so it's... basically, what have we learned? So again, we're rinsing, we're rinsing paper filter with cold water. Cold water. Better shape. Yeah. Don't and also like any, directly in the don't middle, taste like any paper whatsoever. Yeah. You can also keep it with the fingers a bit like this, so it doesn't move. Like you know. I will hundred percent. This is like moving forward. What I will do. Yeah. I've seen people do it before, but I haven't really seen them do it. I did. I did as this like in competition as well. As you Statis was doing this as well in competition. Yeah. Okay. So proven in the world champion. Yeah, yeah. To work. Really cool. And it, did you feel any paper filter? No, no, nothing. So it is actually really good. Yeah. New, new, a new grinder for me. I'm sure you guys have already used this grinder, but it could be worth checking out the Bravo grinder. Yeah, for sure. Bra Bravo it. Bravo it or something Bravo, like this. I don't know. It's a bit but confusing it, the logo. Actually. I will send you the Instagram. Oh, maybe you know in you know Gilberto already. We wrote some. Yeah, we share it yeah. somewhere in the comments so you guys can see it. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's super cool, right? The scale, we know we've seen this now in, in a few videos. It's a cool scale, especially the kind of measuring. The, this, you know the dose, you know the ratio. Exactly. It's, it's, For home it's, use, especially, it's like, look now, because I have like so many scales. I, I think I tried almost all the scales on the market. Yeah. To be honest, this one, it's like always like when I go in the shop and I have my Akayas or the D fluid, I'm like searching for the. Uh, for the brew assistant, you know, like I, ah. I, agree. I mean, as a, as a home brewer, I didn't get like yeah. no sponsorship with fellow, no, no nothing. It's just uh, like you know the functionality it's, of the it's device. Like smart, yeah, it's smart, and I like smart stuff. I think that makes a lot of sense, right? Yeah, yeah. And we're doing a two two four method, so it's kind of similar to what we do at April, but different. Yes. So 80 grams of more water in the initial pour. Yes. To saturate evenly. Yeah. That's the same. We think the same it makes a lot of sense. Everyone should do it. How long do we let yes. that sit? I, le I let this one sit for like 35 seconds Yeah, because it was like very fresh. Sure. I usually... So the, I, the the fresher the coffee, the longer you have it Yeah, sit. but I, I don't go above 45 seconds. Yeah. I mean, I tried it, but I feel like something is like, you know, you get some dryness. Yeah. Okay. It, either it's just me or maybe it's like too, water, too, I, too much I water. I would say I 100% agree with you. Okay. Okay. So we're in the same level. When you roasted coffee, yeah. having an extended bloom, then if you want to refer refer to it as like that, does not make sense. I think no. that's something that comes out of people brewing with a more developed roast roasting. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this which, is which definitely... Maybe, which maybe work, right? Uh, and then I'm this has less than 10% development time yeah. ratio. No, so I'm really into the simplicity of, of just how you brew. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. And then you have this kind of smaller volume going up to a larger second pour. Yes. But it just tastes really well extracted. Yes, very well. Yeah. Like because also roasting helps and then the recipe helps as well. Oh, sure. And then you can play with like, you know, temperatures. I can usually, I usually prefer like not very high temperatures because... Yeah, you do get some sweetness with higher temperatures, yeah. but I don't. Sometimes you don't get that like necessarily pleasant like mm -hmm. sweetness. Mm -hmm. And I found like sometimes like with 88, 87, yeah. you get like super sweet coffees and also like super fruity and like you know you, you feel like wow, this is super nice to wake up. You know when you yeah. brew. So sure. it's like you know whatever I like. I like this kind of style. Yeah. You know, like lower too. temperatures. I tried to do brewing the world as this, like, yeah. but it was very cold in the environment, and I was like afraid that I get like. It's difficult and the yeah. different altitudes yeah. and boiling points and all that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but obviously, the higher the temperature, the altitude, the lower the temperature. Yeah. Well. No, no, for sure. Like, look, um, three weeks ago or two weeks ago, I went hiking. Yeah. And uh, me and my friend, you met last night with my friend as well. Uh -huh. We were like, okay, let's go. Let's pack everything. We take the coffees, we take this, we take drippers, whatever. Okay, but we don't have any heating yeah. power, you know, at the mountainside. And I didn't have any burner, like camping burner. And it's like, no problem. I used the fellow, um, the thermos. Yeah. We drove three hours to the mountains and then two hours to get on top, <laughs> like to that point. And we brewed coffee. 
and it tasted amazing. But I think, in my opinion, I think it was like around 80 Celsius ish. Yeah, sure. But the, the because it was like when we opened it, it was you, very yeah, hot. You, you boiled it up here. You yeah, it I boiled it like 100, yeah. 100 degrees, put it immediately. Yeah. I preheated the vessel before just a bit, like five minutes. I kept yeah. it like, you know, with hot water and then put again through everything, put the hot water inside and then boom, off. The coffee tasted, I was like drinking the coffee and I was like, how is it possible to taste this good? Mm. It was 2,300 something meters. Yeah. So it's like 2,000, it's very high, you know? Sure. And I was like, okay. We were like surprised completely, like completely surprised. That's really cool actually. And that's yeah. really good for, for like you guys at home as well, like if you live in, we have people tuning in from like all over the world, right? So yeah, 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 exactly. Something to consider, and I mean, we visited plenty of farms over the years where, um, you know, that definitely becomes a factor, right? So play with the temperature. That's one thing we want to do. We want yes. to rinse the water cold. We want to use maybe this Consistent. grinder. Why don't you use well-roasted coffee? I think that's, that's the secret to most good coffee. I, I believe I would so. say, and a good water. I mean, it's very forgiving. Yeah. You it, know. It makes it easier. Makes it, makes it every, easier. for everyone. If you have it like, you know, if you don't have the best water, okay, but the, the roast helps also. Yeah. And obviously the green coffee. Green, a cup of coffee is never better than the green coffee that you use. No. And I think that's a, that's a great note to kind of round this up as well. No? Thank you for you for, for, for having us here. Super cool to be here. Thank you for you guys for, for watching. Uh, as always, do the subscribing thing, sharing thing, liking thing. Everything. Patreon, do do everything. <laughs> Buy some coffee from Bob. You know all of it. We can say that because it's good coffee. Yeah. Um, as always, we're like super happy that you guys are tuning in. Comment, share. There's a bunch of really interesting stuff in this video, so I'm expecting you guys to go nuts on the comments. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. I hope. For sure. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you, it doesn't like you have to try. You have to try. I mean, Just it's try. you know, 15 grams of coffee. Yeah. How bad can it be? Go like if you don't like it, yeah. worst case you throw it. It's worth it. You know, so yeah. new recipe, try it out. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day. Bye. We want to give a special thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. It's because of you that we are able to continue to make these videos. And we want you all to feel free to always come with suggestions and ideas on the content that you want to see uh, because we are doing this for you and because of you. Thank you from all of us here at April.